It is the month of April, and the Ottawa County Road Commission has put out their April edition of the Road Newsletter. And Alex Doty with the Ottawa County Road Commission, good enough to join us once a month to talk all about it. Alex, thanks for uh, joining us this morning on WHTC Morning News. And let's go ahead and jump into it here. It looks like uh, April is Work Zone Safety Month and a busy month for the Ottawa County Road Commission. Absolutely. You know, uh, this time of year when, when spring arrives, it's uh, that time when uh, work zone safety becomes kind of paramount around here. And we'd like to remind motorists now that there's going to be more workers around and on the road to make sure that they pr- practice safe driving, uh, mindfulness when they're in work zones, uh, avoid distractions. And um, that way all our workers can go home safely and motorists can travel safely through work zones. And I understand uh, recent stats, uh, Alex, show that work zone crashes remain a really a significant concern. We got to get these drivers to slow down. Absolutely, you know, slow down, uh, practice increased safety. Uh, you know, adhere to standard safety protocols. Follow all the signs and, and warnings, barricades. Uh, doing your part will help keep those statistics uh, from increasing and going up because we certainly don't want to see um, any more folks uh, lose their lives out there uh, doing a, a job that uh, you know many people uh, you know take for granted and you know think okay the roads get fixed uh, you know those are real people out there doing that work and they have families and loved ones that they want to uh, come home safely to. Alex, I think we've talked about this before, but uh, it seems like when I drive across the state, people are pretty much uh, uh, thinking about this when they see flashing lights up. What about that uh, move over? It's a law here, I believe, in Michigan, but you see those flashing lights regardless if it's a road worker or whatever vehicle it is, try to move to the opposite lane. Absolutely. You know, you see those flashing lights, you know, whether it be, like you say, emergency vehicles, uh, tow trucks, or uh, the the green and uh, white flashers of our work crews, you know that it might be along the road working along ditches, patching potholes, etc. Uh, make sure you give those people a chance to you know to have space to move over, uh, stay as far away as you can while also being safe yourself. Uh, just to give those crews the room that they need to to operate safely. Alex Doty is with the Ottawa County Road Commission talking about their April edition of the Road Newsletter. And it looks like spring is here, and uh, that means uh, you're busy out there doing some road maintenance work on the gravel roads. Yeah, this time of year especially, uh, we our crews are uh, busy countywide working on gravel roads, getting those uh, in shape from the winter months and making sure that... Uh, you know, all the all the, the roads are back in shape and, uh, you know, back uh, how they should be. You know, gravel roads are unique and that, uh, you know, they're not paved surfaces. And so, uh, you know, those do take a little bit more effort and upkeep uh, to, to maintain. Uh, one of the things that we do each year, uh, our crews pull shoulders from the side of the road. Mm-hmm. And what that does is it, uh, you know, pulls the, the existing gravel that might have fallen off the side of the road back into the center of the road and also cuts down on those shoulders to allow road uh, water to drain off the road safely to improve drainage. Um, And then, you know, another thing we like to remind uh, uh, residents, too, is that, you know, weather dictates a lot of uh, when and how we can uh, maintain gravel roads this time of year. If it's too wet outside, it it can be quite sloppy and, uh, you know, make a big mess. And if it's too dry, it can be difficult to grade. So, you know, we, we walk a tight balance and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, a fine line when having to decide when and how we maintain those roads effectively as possible. Sure. And Alex, along with uh, springtime, I know uh, that this is maintained throughout the year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like like I said, the gravel roads are maintained year round, uh, not just the springtime. Uh, you know, that's when we put a little bit extra effort in to, to maintain the, the, the shape of the road and kind of get those back into shape. But it's a year round effort and, you know, something that, uh, you know, we're always working hard on because just because those roads can present a unique challenge, uh, given that they are a little bit different than your typical paved road. Something else in the road newsletter for April. Uh, Alex, tell us about a uh, major water main project that's beginning in the uh, Grand Haven area. Yeah, this is kind of a unique uh, project in that it's kind of a partnership between uh, the city of Grand Haven, uh, Grand Haven Township, and the Ottawa County Road Commission. Uh, the Road Commission uh, helped to provide funding uh, for the project through the sale of bonds on behalf of Grand Haven Township. 
And what that project will do is ensure water system reliability uh, as the uh, region experiences continued growth in the area. And so they'll be uh, working through Grand Haven this uh, this uh, spring and summer to improve that uh, service line and install new 20-inch uh, uh, water transmission main on Ferry Street there uh, from Grant Avenue to uh, just south of Robbins Road uh, into this into Grand Haven Township. And so, you know, we, we certainly appreciate that partnership and, and everybody working together to, you know, improve a needed asset uh, for the community up here. They covered Work Zone uh, Safety Month in the Road Newsletter, covering spring gravel road maintenance work, and as Alex just talked about, a major water main project beginning in the Grand Haven area. Alex, remind us on how uh, we can get our own copy of the Road Newsletter each month. Folks interested in getting our newsletter can visit our website, ottawacorc.com, and then in the upper right-hand corner, there's a envelope tab. Uh, click that little button, and you can subscribe to updates to this newsletter and other uh, email letters that we send out weekly uh, about road closure updates, uh, construction alerts, what have you. Uh, the best thing to do is uh, to stay informed, and we certainly hope folks take advantage of uh, you know subscribing to the road newsletter and all the other uh, updates that we're able to put out. As usual, important information for all the residents of Ottawa County. Talking about the road newsletter with Alex Doty with the Ottawa County Road Commission. Alex, thanks for your time this morning, and uh, next time we talk, it'll be almost tulip time. So thanks for your time on WHTC Morning News. Thank you.